so I want to continue seeing that the first video did did well I want to continue with part two and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to just basically add effects or uh, different cuts stuff like that to your video all right so I'm um, continuing with this video we want to do is uh, let me just but um basically for this video I'll just close up um I want to add some cuts and stuff like that to show you how how to do something similar for your videos so um, let's look for a cut so the first thing we're gonna do is um, put some cuts in there um, just hit C and all you can just go to this razor tool right here and it's best to learn the shortcuts too hit C bring up the cut tool quick and what you can do is you can hit the minus or plus button to zoom in zoom out so learning these buttons is gonna help you navigate a lot um, quicker when you're doing this okay so for this little section here you was a hero. Step my money up and get the Nero. Take my mama all the way to Rio. Okay, let's see. To be was a hero. Step my money. Okay, I heard um for this kind of cut, you want to put this like on the high hat. So I heard like a piece in here was like. Hero. I heard that piece. So I want to add it right in here. So hit the C button, hit the plus button, and you just want to come through and just cut. Cut um within the space of the hi hats. So I think it was somewhere in here. So um, let's cut and disable those clips. And then you should have something like this. Step my money up and get the Nero. Take my mama all the way. Yep. Let's watch it again. Was a hero. Step my money up and get. Now, um, to spice it up more too, instead of have it, um, oh, my keyboard is wet. Okay, so to spice that up, what you could do too is add um, a clip on top of it instead of it flashing to black. So you can just cut it between the clip you want to show. There. There it goes on. And it's going to look like this. Was a hero. Step my money up and get the Nero. So it's basically how. Um, where you feel fit. I mean, depending on the song, depending on the sample, um, how you know, it's it's totally up to you. Um, next we can do a transition, and a transition is basically going from one clip to the next. Um, so I have some effects. Well, I, I created some presets to help speed up um my editing sessions and stuff. So let me add something and show you how how you add that in there. Okay, so you look for part. Um, and the good thing about cutting to the beat is too, you know, um, on each cut, that's like where the beat is. So you can drop this anywhere on these cuts and it'll line up. But I'll show you. Okay. So come here. The hero, step my money up and get the Nero. Okay, so for this drop right here, I want to put something to it. So we go to the cut. What I do is hit shift and hit back. Hit once. Um, depending on when you want the transition to come in sooner or as soon as possible, um, you hit um shift and back once, or you could do it one more time, and you hit a cut there. And you just drag and drop um let's say this effect. You just drag and drop um whatever effect right there and it'll get the Nero. Say my mama 
like that. Um, for that effect, it's more of a swoon, like a like a it's like a quick thing. So, um, well, actually, there's ways you can do that. You can do it like that, or you can take the two clips. For an example, cut here. Five. So you take five. Well, not five, but you, you hold shift and go back once on both ends, and you make a cut. Um, you want to drag this clip and that clip up here. Um, then you want to you want to nest them. And then you can just drag and drop your effect onto that clip. So it'll look more like this now. See that shit? You see that shit? You see that shit? Get the Nero. See my mom. Hold up. Um, let me, um, let me render this so you can see how it looks for you. Um, like I said, it's, it's totally up to you where you want to put it. Um, I usually don't like um, doing too many. Uh, I like simple stuff, you know. I like to keep it simple, clean, and easy for the viewer to watch. Um, a lot of people, what they do is add a bunch of different effects in their videos, but it's done in a way to cover up a lot of the bad shots and stuff they had. So, in some instances, it makes sense, but when you have a like a, a good video that you shot very well and a, a good story and stuff you won't be doing a lot of that stuff um but let's wait for this to load up should take about five years yeah the first video I figure would have done um pretty well that's why I wanted to do it in um, parts so um the full understanding of, of what's going on so okay let's see how that looks so we have the cut and then we have a transition was a hero step my money up and get the Nero take my mama all the way to Rio right, that shit looks good damn um can I address anything else in here? Um, so we have a cut and we have a transition. Um, I think that's about it as far as that goes. I mean, all you gotta do is repeat that on any clip, any beat, any chop um, that you want, and you should be you should be good. I don't really do too much of it. Um, a lot of effects you can probably find with the uh, drag and drop. I think I have maybe a few on my website that you can um, check out. This this one, especially the frame whip thing, you can check that out. Um, um, what else I could probably um, address in here? Um, I would show you aspect ratio as far as um, if you want that cinematic, like bar like. Um, I actually created a preset that allows you to just drag and drop that um, if you guys want it maybe I'll add it to my um, website but it's simple you just drag a adjustment layer on top you can do this many different ways too you can do it the way that um,
and there's a next wave which that involves stretching the video, the left and the right of the video, to actually make it a widescreen aspect ratio. Um, I think that should be it. Um, I want to add this effect, but this is more like a finish product effect, to be honest. So in the third video, when I address um the post production of the video, not post production, the color um, grading and stuff like that, like to get that look, then I'll um address that. But yeah, um, cuts, transitions, um, aspect ratio, um, yeah. You guys can now just apply to see a video, um, drag and drop it, um, and you should be ready to go. Step my money up and get the Nero. Take my mama all the way to Rio. Cause it's so well, man, it's so cool. So in the next video, I'll um, jump on the final side of um, music video editing and address the um, color grading and that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that. Appreciate you guys. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. If not, it's cool.